Today I'm going to be training like the most powerful anime character ever, Luffy, world famous yes. character from the story One Piece. And according to Oda Sensei, training like him can get you killed, literally. Has any of you fought a gigantic tiger, teeth, claws and one? I thought so too. Here's my plan, I rewatched One Piece and came up with a perfect training routine that will allow me to build strength rather than muscle. Because let's be honest, Luffy is not a particularly muscular guy. He's skinny and he's insanely strong. And this routine that I created is perfect for this. Alright, let's do this now. I don't know about you, but I wake up like this. <laughs> and it's the best feeling ever. Alright, it's 6 a.m. in the morning, currently going through fat leg training, basically running, alternating between fast and slow pieces on uneven ground. But why though? Luffy does a lot of free running in jungles, which started off with him just chasing his brother. But because of this, he was able to build up a lot of stamina at a very young age. And this is the type of training that I need to improve my stamina as well. However, that didn't last long because I got tired very quickly and I was forced to take a break. I'm sure if you've watched One Piece, you know what the story is all about. It's about uh, never giving up friends and adventure, uh, pursuing your dreams, you know, stuff like that though. And while sitting here tired, I can't help but think about that. Like specifically uh, the pursuit of dreams and goals. You know this YouTube channel? Like I kind of like did a eggs in one basket kind of thing and considering how many years have passed I've been doing this and i haven't even earned a cent from it but then i still do it so which is kind of like how one piece is like you you like you get uh, dealt these challenges you have to overcome them each and every arc so that's precisely what i'm going through right now and like honestly it's very frustrating like like when i think about it specifically in relation to like my grandmother and stuff because she's the one that always tells me ah, get a job uh, you need to start working you need to start doing that and each and every time i felt like i disappointed her like a lot so yeah uh, this is the woman that raised me and then now i can't do anything for her i guess like embodying uh, Luffy spirit, that spirit of never giving up, never giving up with the people that you love, uh, protecting the people that you love, stuff like that is kind of like necessary in this moment. But then each and every time I think about it, I tear up though. Oh, like what the fuck is going on? Like why is it my life not running the way that I want? Yeah. I just finished my run and I just wanted to admire this view before I go do something that Luffy is well known for. If you know Luffy, you know what comes next. Me. These are the leftovers from last night. Kind of like a miracle that no one eats his food. And I've never seen him eat chicken feet before, so Oda should make it happen. This stuff is good. So how do you train like Luffy considering that you don't get to fight baboons and tigers? Well, the first method I'm going to be using is explosive movement. Things like jumping squads, explosive push-ups, and explosive curls. So basically, generating force very quickly. Another way is increasing my grip stretch, as I'm doing now with hanging for as long as possible, or just gripping very hard on this rock repeatedly. Of course, these are not all the training methods I'm going to be using to increase my strength. I still have six more days to go. So it's day 3 of my training and if you're wondering what I was up to yesterday, I continued with my fat leg training but that's the only thing that I managed to do because I had an emergency that I had to go to and I couldn't train for the day. Even though I'm making good progress, right, uh, I have a huge problem on my hands. I originally planned on completing this challenge within 7 days but there's just a lot happening this, this week. For, for instance, my sister's graduation is coming up, family is coming over as well. And I'm just not feeling like wow. Well, I feel like, gosh, like I feel like I'm gonna catch a flu. Like I feel sick as though. Like I have a sore throat and something. And I'm putting off this video, maybe for like a week, and I'll get back to it. So that means though that all the progress that I made in this past two days is basically lost. Though. So yeah, but it is what it is. 
so since today might be my last day let's make it worthwhile so i did iron fist training if he does this all the time whether it's punching mountains rocks idiot it is a great way to increase bone density and increase punching power but we all know that anime standards don't really apply in real life so me doing this might lead me to losing my entire hand and by the way this is no fun <sighs> Even though I had put off completing my video, I made sure to dedicate all that time to the more important things in my life, like spending time with my wife. We went to visit my mother's grave, and quite honestly, I needed that though, because afterwards I felt good about myself, I was in a good mental state, and it felt like my mother was saying, don't give up, no matter what you do. It's been several weeks since I started training like Luffy, or stopped training like Luffy, but I'm giving it one more try because the file has been sitting on my laptop for weeks now and I can't stop thinking about it. And the one thing about me, I hate giving up. Like this has turned into something that is more than just training like Luffy. It's more like me trying to overcome something. I don't know what it is, but I'm a sore loser. I hate losing, even though I'm not competing against anyone. I went out for a run but at this point I was glad that I was back on track. My confidence levels were up and I was really looking forward to completing this challenge that I had set up for myself almost two months ago. Here I was, what started off as an idea has now come to this, dedicating all this work to train like an anime character, something that most people would think is stupid. I headed out every day to improve my stamina created a workout program that focused on increasing strength and even changed my eating habits. Yes, I hit a lot of roadblocks along the way. You might even think why I do this, quite simply it's an internal struggle against me, overcoming doubts that go far beyond this video. It's me against me. It's about overcoming limits and pushing yourself to do more. I might be in my garage right now shooting videos with a bad camera and not making money off of YouTube. But deep down, I know someday things are going to be better for me, as long as I don't give up. <laughs>